Hi, this is David Dusek, senior writer with Golf Week Magazine. I'm joined once again here in the Winner's Circle by Titleist Chris Tootin. Chris, how are you doing today, buddy? I'm doing great, thanks. How about you, David? I'm doing really well, thank you. Well, Webb Simpson has won his fourth PGA Tour event. He shot 66 on Sunday and captured the 2013 Shriners for Children's Open in Las Vegas at the TPC Summerlin. Let me take you inside Webb Simpson's bag real quick and tell you a little bit about the equipment that he used to get the job done out there. Webb Simpson was using a Titleist 913 D3 driver with 10.5 degrees of loft and a UST Mamiya VTS 6X shaft. His fairway woods were a Titleist 913F with 15 degrees of loft and a 913FD with 18 degrees of loft, and both of those had UST Mamiya VTS 8X shafts. His hybrid was a 913HD with 20 degrees of loft with a uh, graphite design DI hybrid 105X shaft. For irons, he had titles 680s, a 4 through 9 iron there with True Tempera Dynamic Gold X100 shafts. Webb's wedges, say that five times fast, were titleist Vokey Design SM4, a 48 degree pitching wedge that had a uh, True Tempera Dynamic Gold X100 shaft, and a, 40, uh, excuse me, a 54 and a 58 degree SM4 that had uh, Dynamic Gold S400 shafts. His putter is a Ping G5 Crazy B belly putter, and Webb Simpson's golf ball choice is a Titleist Pro V1X. Chris, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the fairway wood and hybrid, uh, specifically the 5 wood that Webb Simpson is carrying. He's going with the D version of the 913 FD, and he's got the um, 913 HD that was just sort of like a driving style uh, fairway wood and hybrid. Can you tell me a little bit about how Webb got into those particular clubs rather than sort of the standard 5 wood and hybrid set that a lot of times is what consumers are going to see most often. Well, Webb and I worked last uh, December on some new fairway woods in his bag, and what we found out, especially with the five wood, is is uh, Webb had a little bit uh, lower spin with this model. He got a little bit higher ball speeds as well, but uh, his spin rates came down a touch, and it gave him a little bit more control and a little bit more playability, especially into the wind, where he was able to hit the club the distances he was wanting to. Uh, as far as the hybrid club goes, it was the same uh, session that we worked together, and he had used the, the standard H model that we had in the past, and the HD model for him, it has a little bit more offset, It's uh, and the ability for players to be able to go down at the ball a little bit more with that offset creates uh, a, a slightly bit more control with the players. They're able to go in and take a divot, uh, and it behaves a little bit more like, actually like an iron than it would like a fairway wood. So Webb felt a lot more control with those clubs, and they fit fit him very well and went right in the bag that day. Gotcha. I had a chance to talk to Webb for about a half an hour at the Players' Championship earlier this season, and at that time he was playing with Title 712 AP2 irons. Now I know that he won the U.S. Open about a year and a half ago now at the Olympic Club using the same 680 irons that he won with in Las Vegas. Obviously he made a switch fairly recently back to those older clubs. Can you tell me what may have brought about uh, Webb's decision to, to make that switch and sort of what the two do a little bit, I'm assuming, probably a little bit differently. Well, the, the, when Webb first went to the AP2s, he and his caddy Paul Tesori were working on trying to get a club that was a little bit more forgiving for him. Um, and the AP2s fit that bill perfectly for him. So he went in the beginning of the year and played those. And then towards the end of the year, he felt like he was uh, missing out a on a little bit of workability uh, from the irons. And the CG on the MB irons is a little closer to the heel, so when Webb feels like if he doesn't make a perfect golf swing and he's a little bit behind with his arms and hands, uh, with that CG being closer to the heel, he can kind of make it up with his hands, and uh, some of those swings you'll see him make, uh, the, he'll look like he's a little bit ahead with his body and behind with his arms, and he's able to catch up with his hands uh, with the 680s just a little bit better. Gotcha. So it's a matter of, in this case then, the AP2 is almost going against the player, they're, they're going too straight. It's, it's providing them forgiveness, but it's in one of those rare cases where a guy doesn't necessarily want quite as much of the forgiveness. He's looking a little bit more for the workability, and in some cases those two things work against each other. That's correct. The perimeter weighting that, that you would have in an AP2 is going to give you that forgiveness that they had talked about uh, that they wanted, uh, but it also makes the ball go a little bit straighter than uh, a muscle back would, and that's what he found with the 680s. He was just able to work the ball just a little bit more, Hey, obviously it worked great for him, and, uh, and we're happy that he won. Yeah, you can't argue with the fact that you know four PGA Tour wins, one of them being a U.S. Open. Obviously, he's doing something right. Chris, once again, thank you very much for joining me inside the Winner Circle. Thank you, David. Appreciate it. Great, and thank you very much for tuning in once again. This is David Dusick from Golf Week Magazine, and we'll see you next week.
Thank you.